Hey everyone, this time we're going to go further into the dungeon. Um, let's go down here. So last time we didn't get to it. We got close, but we didn't get to it when time runs out. Oh, jeez, I've been... Oh, yeah, I forgot to run. I forgot to run. <laughs> I was doing the uh, going battle watch Nate and Dookie are doing on Pokemon MMO. Um... They're doing the grunt battle, which I say kind of hard to do the grunt battle. And I don't know why I use that because it doesn't affect them. But I don't see how you can do the grunt battle because I cannot. I would see like if you do it on um, not uh, gold and silver, but like diamond and pearl, um, <laughs> ruby and sapphire, because those don't have team rocket grunts. The grunt, because the grunt challenges, I think you only can have Team Rocket um, Pokemon. Um, if I get the rules, um, can't find any grunts, but it's going to be required because you have to fight through a, through this MMO. Um, the third one was, um, I don't think that was it. I think those were the only two rules that had to be uh, Team Rocket Pokemon and they had to be. Um, yeah, but that pretty much is. <laughs> um, but other than that, really, they're doing the ground battle, but it kind of peaks, it, it kind of points where you're, it defeats the purpose playing through the game because you have to fight the Team Rocket Grunts to get through the story, which is kind of hard when you're trying to. Stop the team rocket through the story. But I bet there's a hack grunt. I bet I look around that there's one where you can be a team rocket grunt. I think there is. If I, I'll just go look around probably um, after this and find one. But um, for right now, we're just trying to get um, through this. Um, I won't. I bet since I've done blue already, um, I won't get through here. Just by this. But hopefully, hopefully I do. Can't promise, but hopefully I will. But um, this will be an a up HP up. Uh, probably will go back heal. Probably after this, we'll probably run back and heal up. Maybe just say, Let me do this because uh, right now we're running into and Zubats, but still, the uh, best part will be trying to get through here. It's not the most difficult dungeon in the game, but it's the most. Tedious, kind of, because you're fighting Zubats who something that confuse you, and then you, the the wild, the counters rate is high. It's crazy. Yes, it's a good place to grind if you're going to try to run through it. But with all the trainers and everything, it's gonna be hard. But I will try to get through here. Let me go fight fight to the Pokemon there, and they go heal up. I won't cut through, but anyway, because it's not very far up. By at least this end of this video, I will if you watch blue, but I'll try to get close to the scientist towards the end. Um, but with since I already got three Pokemon, you should already know since I've told you ahead of time who my Pokemon's that are already going to be on my party, so you can get a picture of who's already going to be on my team. Not that hard, really, either. So, uh, I've already have just like I've played through these games so many times, I know who to pick, I know who to start, but it's one of those where I'd rather try a different team. Because when I had 
Pokemon Yellow when I was a kid. I think Nidoran wasn't one of the Pokemon I would choose. I would have had a uh, Pikachu, Pidgey, and a Red Attack. And I, uh, you, I spent hours upon hours trying to uh, get them to a certain level. I think I got them to I spent like almost so much time because I by the time I was on my think fourth fifth gym because I balanced them out kind of equaled out like I played a couple of hours of blue a couple of hours of yellow and I got my Pokemon to like I think 20 or 22 I can because I know it was around 20 I know you're like how could you run for so long well, when you spend so much time on just one thing, you kind of remember some things. But by the time I think I was level, I think 20, 22 around there, and whew, how long I spent just to get to there, and I finally beat him with just my Pikachu. Um, but but then by that time I went. By everyone, it was super easy. By um, but the third gym, that's when it started getting back to kind of hard. But by that time, I then when I found out, I, I got this like, I forgot what it was, it's like some type of guide after I beat the game. I uh, forgot who got it or where we got it. I think it was at my bookstore nearby. Um, it was like a, I don't know how they got it, but it was like some special edition Pokemon guide, um, that they were selling for that month. I don't know what it was, but it was some, like, special thing, because when I bought it, bought it, they said it was some special thing. It was right after I beat it, and I'm like, this could help me a lot next time if I ever consider playing it again. Um. I mean, it had, um, this was before internet was big with Pokemon stuff and told you all about where to what. This had the items, um, told you, like, which Pokemons you should get, um, it had the catch rate level and Pokemon for each version in there, uh, then, um, at the end it showed each Pokemon one hundred and fifty one. um, Pokemon showed uh, what types they, um, what TMs they can learn, or HMs, um, what level they evolved, what type, um, moves they'll learn at certain levels. I mean, and it showed the evolve, uh, how to evolve them at what level, and it had each one and showed, um, I mean, it was really helpful for the internet. I mean, I still have it. I just, have to find it again um, but yeah escape rope um, I just skipped the trainer anyways uh, it, it was a great guide for me after and then probably two three weeks later I decided to play it again it helped a lot got me through the game faster found and that's when I found out about an internet male and female they were later in the game didn't use them so they had a full team of stuff um, Realized Pidgey wasn't good at all. Uh, Pidgey Yoto is good. Then all my friends Spiro's better. Well, okay, but I like um, Spiro's more at best. Field type. Well, Pidgey's can take is not as fast or not as powerful, but it can take hits. I think a lot better because. Like you try to use Sparrow, doesn't work very well. Uh, but when I used Pidgey the first time, I thought I did a lot better with Pidgey. Even though, yeah, Sparrow may be the best, but I got adept using Pidgey. I know how to use Pidgey better. And, well, Sparrow only had two evolutions, Pidgey had three, and no offense, I like kind of the evolution little thing. Uh, 
There's some that I don't like bulbing from Firestones. Um, really, the only thing I could think of not bulbing is Pikachu because the anime, because really, in that, and I don't know, it's just something about Raichu that I like Pikachu. Yeah, there, you might say, yeah, I use him to get stronger and get better, but just really can't think of using <clears throat> Pikachu uh, evolving. But, anyways, let's get off topic. We're going through Mount Moon here, and we at least got we're not even halfway through yet, and we're at a halfway point close to it. Hopefully we get close where we're towards the end by the end of this video. Hopefully. We just hopefully we do. And whoop. Oh man. Need absorb and it's gonna hurt. I don't know. Well we're gonna use gust again and it should almost take it down unless we get a critical hit. Yeah, I don't want to Come on, Pidgey. Let's take him out this time. Don't miss. There we go. We took it down. That's going to probably use a bell sprout. Okay, on my honest opinion on bell sprout, uh, bell sprout actually is not. Terrible, but um, grass type. Um, if I had to choose between Oddish or um, uh, Bell Sprout, for first form I would go with um, Bell Sprout. Second form, I'd probably go with gl um, Gloom. And um, for third, it either really depending on my party setting, because um, I use, um, the, I can't even pronounce his name now for some reason. I followed, um, say Porion there. Well, no, that's not how you say it. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about if, you play, if you're playing and you're watching this. I use, um, on last one more for status effects and, like, sleep powder, poison powder, and it will have one attack, like, Heard it, but um, and then um, uh, Victory Bell would be my offensive type one, and we just got hit and Zubat, of course. I just use Pidgey, but we'll run away. We'll fight this Team Rocket Grunt. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, you got a big job here. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to ruin it for you. And it's gonna use a Zubat, of course. But we're gonna use a Pidgey. A Pidgey, use Gust. And it's gonna use what? Which? Life? Great. Not very effective. Good thing I got Pidgey. Use Gust Pidgey. Take it out this time, hopefully. Thank you, Pidgey. And there we go, level 17. Gonna use the uh, Ekans. We're just gonna keep Pidgey in. No point in switching it out. Pidgey use Gust. I know a lot of now, sounds like I'm gonna have to a lot of the times. Great, use Rep. Just gonna continue. We're gonna sit here. We're gonna wait. So much fun, right, guys? Disgusting. Take it down. And it has 150 HP. Almost down, so you are good. Well, yeah, if I'm this far in the dungeon, yeah, there might be. I've only fought two of you guys. Yeah, I'm pretty good. But I've got this far in the dungeon. Alright, well, you know what? 
um, to the dude I'm gonna run. There's no point right now. And then there's a trainer there. Um, yeah, let's put in Nero Reno in there. Uh, you kind of explore too? Yeah, I came here to explore. I came to get out of here first too. <laughs> It's another youngster. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Usually, youngsters have the like Pokemon you really don't usually want, like uh, Rat Attack, uh, Catter. Well, no. Like, I should usually have that. Usually, they'll have like Rat Attack. Usually, they'll have uh, some type of male Reno in there. Male or female. But yes, those ones are good. But usually, they'll have like a lot of Rat Attacks like this guy has. Usually they're, they're mostly rad attacks or rad attack Pokemon. That's kind of obvious. Have I've told multiple times that I will play the other ones, yeah, but I'm, I'm gonna try to play them in order. I um like spinoffs or stuff. I might play the spinoffs, but for right now, maybe one or two spinoffs, but. But that'll be later on. But um, I really haven't thought a lot of other ones to do. I'm still trying to think through a list. I have a long list of games I might be doing later on after these. But right now I don't have any. I have a list, but got some off. But it's hard trying to just to go like I play this game. I played it and beat it. But I like this game, and I've played it. It, it, it's one of those where you're sitting here like, which one want I do? It's hard, it, yeah, you're gonna like just pick one, I'm like, yeah, but it's like, I feel like playing this one. I feel like playing this one. I gotta to consider which one will I play, like, more, like, constantly, like, Pokemon. This, I can probably record this all day if I didn't have work at school. But it's one of those you're saying that like, hope oh. and it's super effective. It should take this now, so you can kick. But hopefully, and the arena got to grow to 18. Yes, and I'm not switching uh, Pikachu or Piggy because he has all cheater dudes except for the last ones in Onyx. And it should take it down on the next kick. And I was right. There we go. Down now. And it's going to have an onyx. Onyx should be easy though. Okay, we'll use a double kick. And it should go down on the next one. Or have a little bit of HP left. Yep. Uh, Use tackle again. It's really. I, was, <laughs> I don't know what I was gonna say now. I just kind of sound like an idiot a lot of times, don't I? But um, I'm trying to think because yeah, this is my first couple videos. I'm trying to like, get off to let's say, but um, now we're at least halfway. There might be some people that say, no, you're not halfway. Well, to my point of view, this is the halfway. Uh, I don't know, kid should leave growing up alone. Well, when you steal Pokemon from little kids, I don't think you have nowhere to talk. Because that's asking to get kids into it when you're stealing from them. And for me, I'm not a kid, but this character in the game, yeah, they're of course kid, but still, pretty much asking for it. Just gonna use the bat, well, I'm gonna use Pikachu. Yeah, and there we know, you can come back, Pidgey, you go out, you can go kick some butt, Pikachu. Take it down, ah, oh, so close, so, so close, but we got it paralyzed, that's good. Uh, Played more of X and Y and found out a lot of things because 
I got the guide, but I didn't look at this uh, stuff. And I do watch some of the videos of the news and stuff. And I love some of the stuff they edit onto it, like uh, electric type can't get uh, paralyzed. Uh, uh, grass types can't get status effect by um, powder. Um, yeah, it's not. Um, what were the other ones? I have to look. I those were like the two ones that were the most annoying to me, in my opinion. Uh, the other ones, you know, they didn't have to change that much. Uh, and I'm glad they finally found a um, yeah, poison thing. Uh, I might get rid of that to put somewhere. I might. Let's see which move I should. Oof, let's get rid of later. Um, what do I think? Uh, yeah, fairy types. Fairy types are really, right now they're like, kind of like, um, steel types. They came out, they were one of those, like, teams that balanced it out a little bit. Um, they were one of those teams that didn't have that great move pool or whatever until, like, the next gen. I say fairies really didn't have that great uh, move pull, but until like next Pokemon game, it should. But until then, we'll see what happens with the fairy types. It, they might be just one of those that kind of mixes with um, just like one of those types, like normal, kind of have like some normal and then some other type. It could be just one of those with a little move pull, but not with like very strong it's more of that support team it's because it very does look like a support member like your healer or your um, booster kind of like one of those teammates to be one of those that's what it seems to be um, we'll go up here uh, first let me put mid arena up I know it's already level 19, but we'll put it up here. It's like, hey, stop. I found these fossils, they're both mine. It's like, okay, they're yours, but you still gotta battle. Um, you can send out a grammar. The only reason I put a grammar out here is he's gonna try to poison you, which won't work very well with my poison type in the arena. Even though I tried to use double kick bounce, not very effective. They go use pound. Won't hurt it that much because it's already high enough level. And it should, uh, almost close. Disable. But it fails. Okay, I'll take that. Face it down. Banded gets 200. Almost all I think now I'm not at all. But it should level up by then, but I'm going to use it for a while. Uh, whoo! Jeez. Maybe it's tired for a while, we're going to use Horn Attack again. Takes it down. It's going to faint, we get experience points. Now he's going to use Coughing. Now we use Horn Attack again. Shoot at least almost close. To, no, never mind. It's small, but it's miss. But uh, there is a very, very familiar face later on in this game that you'll see soon. I mean, literally soon. Um, then there's these um, two fossils. You get the carrots or the dome. Uh, for blue, I'm going to choose the um, dome. So, am I? Uh, for this one, I'll choose the flex fossil. She gets bumped and moved, and he's going to get the dome. And soon Pikachu is going to start to like us even more. Well, and next time on Pokemon Yellow, we will go further into the cave and see a familiar face. Um, like, subscribe, comment. Hope you like this video. See you later.